Hi everybody, we have another fun week ahead. We are continuing to talk about transformations. And this week, what we're going to do is learn about something called vanishing points to help you get the correct perspective when you're bringing in other elements into your work. In addition to working with the transformations, we're also going to look at different layer effects. So you can see this week, um, we have added some drop shadows and some embossing. So let me look up at the Kodopaxi logo right here. Here's the embossing turn it on and off and we also added some drop shadows. One other thing that we're also going to be talking about is how to fix the light levels of your existing work so that it kind of matches the scene a little bit better. So you can see I can add a little bit of shadow on there. As you can see the existing banana is a little bright but by playing with the um, levels and the brightness contrast we can get a better image um, or I'm sorry, your image better match to the surroundings. So what we're going to do is I have a three-part lecture to begin um, in part two of our vanishing point exercise. And what that does is it takes you through three different things. The first part is layer adjustments where you fix all of the light levels of the different objects um, so that it looks consistent. Part two is the longest and probably most involved part that goes over vanishing points. And remember, I always suggest that you watch the whole lecture first and then go back and rewatch it. Um, it's only about 30 minutes, I think, but it is a packed 30 minutes. So pause and rewind at your convenience. And then the last part is layer, uh, sorry, layer effects. That's part three, where I teach you guys how to add drop shadows, there's beveling and embossing, and there's lots of other stuff there too that we'll talk about in the coming weeks. Um, over this module, you guys will be doing a few assignments. I talked about the art space vanishing point exercise. And then you'll also be adding um, just some text to the Salk Institute. I want you guys to um, actually put the word Salk Institute on the building. And I've laid that all out for you. And then we're going to be, have you guys create some billboards, three to be exact. And I want these billboards to be posted in a discussion by Thursday night so we can spend the weekend critiquing them. Now with these billboards, um, I want to make sure that uh, everything is carefully masked, that you have transformed them and used the vanishing point to make sure you get the correct perspective for all images and text that you put on. And um, in addition to that, please make sure that your billboards are appropriate for everybody in the school and the valley to see. I hope you consider sharing something uplifting or design related. Humor is always welcome. Um, and I will be looking for three JPEGs to be posted in the discussion. So here I'll just verify that you've done all three really quickly. And then in the discussion is where I will provide my feedback for you. It'll be public feedback so that others can read um, my feedback as well. Hopefully most of you guys will, giving, will be doing the majority of the feedback. But if there are some tips and tricks that I can share with one of you that you all can learn from, I would like to do that as well. And I'm going to throw in a couple questions this week as well. There won't be as many as there typically are. Since this week is mostly review, you'll see a lot of the same concepts coming up. Um, but I hope you guys have a great week and let me know how things go. Again, I'm available for any questions or WebExing if you do need clarification on anything. Thanks again.